Hi guys, welcome to another video from Essential IT Solutions. Today we're going to be featuring the Red E Power Station 1248. It's a 1200 watt uh, portable inverter with a 1248 watt hour lithium battery. So with this unit also like with all the other lithium battery units, you can discharge this to about 80%. Um, it's also stated that the Red E unit will charge fully uh, will charge up to 80% um, within about two hours time and then the last 20% will take about another hour, hour and a half to fully charge. This unit is also the most important one I can point out about this Red E unit is it's got UPS mode. So a lot of people are probably wondering what is UPS mode. UPS mode is simply the fact that this can be plugged in into your wall socket and then into your load. Let's use for example today's load, we're going to talk more about your TV as your load or like we've got currently plugged in your computer which you will see to the left hand side. Um, with UPS mode it can be permanently plugged into your wall socket and your load, your TV or your PC can be plugged into this. You don't need to unplug it at any time to have the unit charged. A lot of the power stations you will be required to plug in to charge it and before you can draw your load or plug your load, your TV into it, um, you're going to need to unplug it from the wall socket and then plug your TV into discharge it. So every time when load setting happens or where there's a power outage, you're going to need to unplug it from the charger or take it off your shelf if you have it fully stored, plug in your TV, watch TV or use your computer and then unplug it and then plug it back into charge. With this unit you don't have to do this. But the UPS function means it can be permanently plugged in. So you can plug your computer into it on a permanent basis. So that means when load shedding or power cut happens, you don't need to unplug your or shut down your PC first, plug it in, then restart and carry on with the work and do the same two or three hours later on. We'll also see what's nice about this. And currently, if you look to the left hand side, you see I've got a 27 inch Dell monitor connected to it with a Lenovo R5 8th generation tiny desktop computer. If you look on the screen, the current draw for this both is a low 20 watts. So this means that this PC can be powered, if you can see to the indicator here to the left, can be powered according to this unit for up to 24 hours before you need to recharge this unit. I think this is amazing. Now if you look at the front of the unit, you will see two USB Type 3 ports and then another four USB Type C ports. These ports are switched on with the switch over here. We can never see there that your USB is powered on. That's been switched off. On the left hand side over here, you've got your cigarette lighter output, your big 12 volt, and then also two 12 volt 3 amp outputs, which you can also switch on with your DC switch over there. And it will also indicate that it's been switched on, and then we can switch it off. On the right hand side, you'll see your two 20 volt outputs. This is for South African mode. It's got two plugs on it. Currently, we've got your computer plugged onto it. And on the other side, you'll see the 220 volt input right underneath, as well as a solar input. So you can add, you can also add, I think up to 800 watts worth of solar panels. I'm not correct on that figure, it can be a little bit lower. Um, specs will be below the video. Also on top, you've got a nice place where you can, where your power cord is stored. So when you're not, if, that, if you're using it as a portable unit, and it's not plugged in, you can have your power cable safely stored in it. We'll just walk around and show you what the back of the unit looks like. At the back you will see all your features of the unit, specifications. Just to show you what the unit's capable of, we've just plugged in a kettle, and I switch on the kettle. We will see on the output load, the kettle will take it up to 1,240 watts. You can also see that this is still running with your computer, which you can see to the left hand side, and with the kettle plugged in. So although it's only rated at 1200 watt, we're still not receiving a notification from the unit that it's overcharged. So it's got over, overcharge protection on it. Um, it will kick off. I think overcharge protection will probably kick in around 1300 or 1350 watt. With the kettle plugged in, currently with the PC and the um, kettle putting about a load of 1,231 watt, you will see the unit shows that you've got 41 minutes left until it needs to be recharged. So I would say go for the RE1248 unit. There is a lot of these portable units on the market. 
I myself like the Ready. I've been using it now for two days just to see what it works like. And I would definitely take the Ready instead of any of the other brands on the market. I'm not saying you must take it. This is my personal choice on the unit that I would take. I would also like to thank you for watching our videos. And please uh, subscribe and like our videos. And we hope to see you on the next one.